my name is Matthew Yap. I graduated from the ICL class of 2015, and I currently attend University of the Pacific in Stockton. Here in uh, James Logan, you have class sizes, typically 40 students, 30 to 40 students. In university, you can have a class size up to 100. Um, my biggest class size is, is 76. Also, professors and teachers, there's a lot of a big difference between them. Uh, teachers would typically assign homework in high school. However, in uh, university, uh, that's no longer the case. They never have homework. It's usually just an assignment. There are also no, um, you know, those annoying bells you hear in high school. Uh, there's no longer those things. You have to be on top of your own time and you have to get there on your own, um, make it to class. Other experiences is um, definitely time management. Uh, be sure you're disciplined on your studies and be sure you're able to keep um, track of your priorities. Uh, you know, weighing out whether I should study an extra four hours or go to a party, you know, you have to make that distinction on your own. Uh, there's no one there to really hold your hand anymore. Um, you're an adult, you should be able to make those decisions on your own. I expected difficulty in classes and they did deliver that, like really tough classes. Um, my major is pre-pharmacy and so I'm taking the bio and chemistry classes and those are really tough. All the pre-health, um, even like math, you know, it's really tough in universities. Um, there's no longer, again I mentioned, no longer homework, so you kind of have to learn all of it on, on your own or um, go into office hours and talk to your professor. I live in a dormitory on campus. Um, usually there are about 30 to 40 um, students living in one dorm. Um, I live in a double, so I have a roommate. Um, usually it's, uh, it's really cozy. Everybody really knows everybody's name. That's how you really meet um, friends and you meet connections are through living in dorms. Uh, it's really convenient. If you need to go to the cafeteria, go to the library, you can just talk to your friends and say, hey, let's meet up at the cafeteria or library. And it's uh, really convenient because everything's on campus. You're on campus, you're living there. My roommate's great, he's awesome. Uh, usually there's no really dispute. Um, it's randomized most of the time, but it's not much of a problem. You know, It's, it's really nice, you'll probably get someone really nice. I chose the school, uh, University of the Pacific, for their pre-pharmacy program. I, um, it's accelerated, uh, it's a two plus three program, two years undergrad and three years graduate. So instead of taking the typical eight years of pharm pharmacy to do the, get the doctor of pharmacy, it will only take me five years to get the doctor of pharmacy. So that was the main reason why I chose UOP was for that deal. But also they um, included scholarships and um, aid for students. Uh, they offer many scholarships. Each person averages about 18,000 in scholarship funding, which is pretty amazing. Um, they also have a really beautiful campus, um, lots of foliage. If you're into trees or nature, this is a really nice um, university to consider. What I wish I would have known was to, to take um, classes that have like, to, to get more um, AP credits. Because apparently AP credits are very important when um, determining class registration in college. Uh, university of the Pacific is really heavy on um, AP credits. The more credits you, you have, in your like arsenal, the earlier you get to register. So I would have taken more AP classes, um, you know, get more credits, study harder for those AP tests, uh, maybe take some community college classes to get GEs out of the way. Um, regarding my experience, I, I, you know, I just enjoyed university right now. It's amazing. Um, it's difficult, but you really find the joy in the people around you and the community that you're part of. There's one program that helped me really to. Um, to do my college right, and I like to mention them and credit them. It's uh, ICL and uh, uh, Heartland Institute of Financial Education. I'm part of the ICL um, Institute of Community Leaders here at um, Logan, and what they really taught me is to be a influential person, to take initiative and take leadership in my community, and that will really help you in uh, making friends and making connections in college. Because you know, you the first day you walk into a university class, the professor isn't going to do icebreakers like, hey, my name is Matthew, uh, what's your name, or what's your name? You kind of just have to do that on your own. And I know that people are typically shy, and in college, you're going to have to overcome that, and especially in the real world. No one's really going to hold your hand. No one's going to say, hey, this is, this is my friend here. You're just going to have to make that on your own. And so it, ICL really taught me to get out of my comfort zone, get out of the bubble I was in, and really go and meet people and um, make connections. Uh, the second thing I wanted a, a credit for was Heartland Institute of Financial Education. And now I joined this college prep program when I was a sophomore, and they really helped me, guide me through my college education process. Um, 
they helped me do my applications. They helped me uh, do, um, you know, check for FAFSA and just a whole bunch of other things. Um, I really, you know, uh, a good tip is to maybe look for a college coach, uh, you know, out there. They'll really help you out and they'll really help you during your application processes and pick the right university for you.